Hello there, fellow humans, and welcome to the Object 777. Is this a good vehicle to own, or is it just a 113 knockoff that's not even worth a second look? That's what we're going to find out in this video. What is important? Is it at a good price? Is it a good tank? Everything you need to know, coming right up after you've liked and subscribed. The 777 is one of the better tier 10 collectors at 3000 DPM, 430 alpha damage, solid penetration comparable to the rest, 0.33 dispersion, 6 degrees of gun depression, power to weight ratio of 15, and armor that is very strong even though it does have the cupolas on top of the vehicle that can be penetrated, but if you keep the vehicle wiggling like in any other vehicle as well, then it is a lot harder to hit those weaknesses, and the lower plate is obviously also another weak spot like it is on 95% of all tanks, so it seems to be a very standard vehicle here that is, well, very comparable to the 113, which also is shown in the somewhat unimpressive difference of 1.5 percentage points to the tech tree vehicle that is the 113, and also the rest of the stats between the Object 777 and the 113 are very similar in most cases, so I would recommend that if you play the 113, you enjoy the 113, then can really think about the 777 because both essentially do hold the same playstyle of your attack brawling heavy tank that you still shouldn't put into a situation where you have to fight multiple tanks at the same time however if you are up against a medium tank you will have superior alpha damage and armor and if you're against the heavy you will have superior dpm to the majority of other heavies especially vehicles like an IS-4 or an IS-7, so you will have quite substantial advantages in all of those situations, just like the 113 has them as well, with the added bonuses of a good credit coefficient, some traverse speed, and 30 more alpha damage. So, the vehicle is one of the purchasable tier 10 collectors, unlike something like an Object 260. The price of the bundle can be best described as the entirety of Cyberpunk 2077 or one and a half times Helldivers 2. And the full price is 150 euros, which is enough for this computer and Helldivers 2, which that you then won't be able to play on that computer, but that to me seems more reasonable than a knockoff 113. Now here's the thing, the bundle also includes 30 days of premium, 5 pointless crates and boosters, so that does add some extra value right there, would have loved to see it about 10 to 15 euros cheaper at least, but if you really need the tank, it's not that bad. Let's get into some gameplay with the slot machine. Now, normally, 777 wins you a prize. In this case, it gets you a 113 that plays slightly different. Now, 6 degrees of gun depression normally isn't enough to play hull down ridge lines. However, on this map, whatever it's called, the middle here at the top is very flat, so you will be able to get through just fine with 6 degrees of gun depression. So, I'm going to obviously go up here. We have two mediums. They have two mediums. So, if I can get an advantage here, take out those two mediums while ideally the heavy tanks don't die because the medium tank fight in most cases lasts less time than heavy tank fight so winning the medium fight is a crucial element of every battle i can very easily then move on towards the city now e50m is dead and now this standard b is gonna be in a very bad situation right here the big problem here is Two of them are dead, but we have three players in the city, and those are obviously going to get destroyed because the enemy team has found out that, oh, there's a lot of guys on the hill, so we're going to have to push through the city. And the guys from our team in the city didn't realize that they're about to get completely wrecked, so that is a very bad thing. And the Jagdpanzer E100 seems to either be AFK or has forgotten what day it is. This is also a very bad thing. So we gotten two of their mediums down, but now the enemy is crawling that advantage back by taking out... First of all, our T-54, which I have no idea what he's doing, and also the E-50M, which is YOLOing straight-faced into the city, which is one of the worst and dumbest thing you can do in the entirety of the game, but hey, that's just how Blitz works these days, I suppose. Just, I don't know. Watching other people do dumb things is weirdly arousing for some reason, but... What I want to do is I don't want to push in that city because, again, remember, you don't want to fight multiple tanks at the same time. And you always, even in a vehicle like this, you always want to have an advantage in every fight. You don't want to just jump in there and be like, yo, I got the DPM, I, I got the hit points, I can win anything because that's how you lose your battles. You want to think about what you're doing. So I'm obviously consciously not going to just fully straight push into the city because that is pretty much a death sentence. At that point, what I'm going to do now is I know where the Fosh is. 
I know where the MX-50B is. So I know if I go forward here, I can aim my shot. I can take out the Conway. Take out the guns, right? You want to get rid of as many guns as possible, especially because this is now a one versus three situation. So I want to get this AMX-50B out of this battle as quickly as possible. Now, what matters? Easiest target, hardest target, everything else. Now, the easiest target in this case would be that one-shot tank destroyer, but he's not around. So I'm going to have to focus on the hardest target and the most dangerous target because that guy can essentially clip me in my entire hit points if he pens his shot. And the 268 is, in fact, the easiest target because he screws up his shot. And I have no idea what happened with the aiming there. But now he is gone. Very terrible play by the guy. Now, that 50B has reloaded. And he is now the most dangerous target. See, I'm looking at the Fosh. Can the Fosh attack me while I'm attacking this 50B? Then I'll be able to reload, take out the 50B. And now the Fosh has made a crucial mistake. He's driving around the house. Which means I will be able to reload again and put him on hold right there by tracking him. And now the reverse speed of this vehicle is absolutely awful. However, the Fosh doesn't have it quite enough alpha damage and I just somehow didn't pen the lower plate so that is very unfortunate the reverse speed of this vehicle a downside it's not going to come in handy too many times it's not going to be that important in most cases but in that case it was very important so it can be interesting sometimes to have but the Fosh doesn't react in time I drive backward it does have enough armor to sort of side scrape he might have been able to penetrate the front of the side but he wasn't and that is a first class in, like, the third battle I played ever in that tank. All right, let's do this again. And the good thing is, all of the mediums are going to the actual medium side of the map. It's very lovely. I mean, if you would have a medium going off to the city side here, that wouldn't really be nice. But the problem is here. Let's look at that. Okay, the T-62A is there. Immediately taking the advantage right there. They're taking that very important spot. So let's try to get him out of here. That's very important now. The 777 is a very capable vehicle, but it is by no means OP. And if somebody tells you that it is OP, then just laugh at them. That's that's my answer at that point. But here's the thing. It is quite a good vehicle, right? It has its, its merits. However, the 113 exists. So if you have played the 113 before and you really like the 113 and you'd be like, I imagine I would like if this thing made credits, then the 777 can be an amazing option. But... Overall, it's a solid vehicle, but because of the price, you have to really think about, is it actually worth it for not that much difference to the 113? Really, that is the thing that you have to decide for yourself, and ideally you haven't already decided that before, because buying something instantly in Blitz is a very bad thing, because you cannot refund it whatsoever. So think about before you buy something, ideally sit on it like at least a couple of days, before deciding to make a purchase and now i've decided i'm gonna I, i'm gonna have to get out of here okay this is not good team's kind of falling apart 62a abandoned me and the app i'm dead good well there's that object 777 it's good enough